from desktop to tabletop, welcome to World of Tanks Miniatures Game. Take control. Out of the box and ready to go. Build your platoon, add your upgrades, train your crews, look your opponent in the eye. World of Tanks Miniatures Game, available October 2020 in store and online. Welcome everybody to the World of Tanks Miniature Game, brought to you by Gale Force 9, product review by Watchful Eye Studio. Today we're going to take a look at this brand new game that just released in October, designed and manufactured by Gale Force 9, based on the super mega popular World of Tanks video game. This miniature game brings to the tabletop the same excitement and drama that you get in the online smash hit. The first thing that I noticed with this box is the amazing artwork and window that you get displaying the fully painted miniatures that come in the game. This is my unboxing video showing you the contents that you receive in this game for the retail price of $40. So let's go right ahead and flip over the box and take a look at the back. The back of the box shows you the contents listing four assembled and painted tanks, which includes the M4A1 Sherman, the T-34, the German Panzer IV, and British Cromwell tank. It contains a rule book, six dice, four tank cards, 21 crew module and equipment cards, 32 critical damage cards, two terrain and token sheets, and one online bonus code for new and existing players for the World of Tanks game. Let's go right ahead and take the shrink wrap off and take a look inside. The packaging of this game is reminiscent of board games with a clear plastic insert to store your cards and tanks. And the packaging is incredibly thick and sturdy, allowing for safe storage and transporting when you want to go to your gaming store and play a game. Let's go ahead and take the contents out and have a look. One of the first things that you should always take a look at when opening a box is of course the rule book. This is a 24 page full color set of rules. The average game takes about 30 minutes, allowing you to put this out on your kitchen table, play a quick game, and move on to something else throughout the day. A wonderful way to introduce miniature wargaming to those new players that are familiar with the video game and have never seen anything like this before. Let's take a closer look at the rules. Page two of the rules gives you a list of the contents as well as a picture of what tanks you get in the game, including what nation they essentially belong to. As I go through this rule, it'll be a brief summary of each page and we'll go into a more in-depth explanation of the rules and how to play in a future video. Page three, we have the layout of the tank cards, explaining how they work. Page four is a layout of the crew module and upgrade cards and explaining how each of those cards work in the game. Page five is a layout of the tokens and explanations of those. Page six, you're already getting into the game. Shows you playing the game, general rules, how the turns work. Page seven is the setup, explaining how to deploy. Page eight is the movement phase, what you can and can't do. Page nine, more about movement and terrain. Page 10 gets into the shooting phase, and clear diagrams on what are valid targets and what aren't. Page 11, more examples on the shooting phase and how to take advantage of cover and hold down situations. Page 12, more examples on shooting and terrain. Clear, concise, wonderful colored pictures using the actual miniatures in the game. Page 13, more examples of the shooting phase. Page 14, rolling your dice, your attack and defense dice. Page 15, creating those pools and also determining what cancels what. Page 16, showing how to cancel hits with your attack and defense dice. Page 17, how to assess damage. Page 18, the command phase. Checking for victory, repairing your tanks. Page 19, how to basically create your platoon and using those cards. 
page 20, showing you how to equip a tank and basically laying out your first game. Page 21, a nice layout of playing your first game and how to use the phases properly. Pages 22 and 23 are battle modes, giving you different scenarios that you can play. Page 23 showing you the other two missions that you can play. And finally, on the back page, a nice quick reference sheet that every good player will use. So that's the rule book. Let's go right ahead and see what else comes in the game. You get two really thick punch-out cards that come in the game that include scenery, such as woods, buildings, fields, fences, walls. You also get some game tokens to be able to use in your game. And here's card number one. And here's card number two, giving you some additional scenery pieces, as well as tokens that you can use in the game. Let me go right ahead and punch out one of these cards and show you how thick they are. So here's a woods punched out. And you can see how, how thick the cardstock is. Very sturdy. Be wonderful for gameplay. The other thing you may have noticed by flipping over the card is that they are double-sided. So you get more scenery types, including hills, additional buildings, walls, and then obviously the in-game tokens are double-sided. The other item you get in this is the waves for releases of vehicles that will be coming out. And there'll be five vehicles for each nation, for Germany, the Soviet Union, the United States, and the UK during World War II. And I'm sure as the game becomes more successful, you'll see more and more tanks that'll be coming out. On the back side of this sheet is your code that you can enter for being able to play your game and World of Tanks. Here's a closer look at the four tanks that you get inside the box. Being a Flames of War player myself, I immediately noticed that these are plastic kits that are available through the Flames of War miniatures game. They come pre-assembled and pre-painted, so you can throw them immediately on the battlefield, or you can look at this paint as basically a primer and fully paint these vehicles if you so choose. The only thing that is missing off of these kits is the 50 cal machine gun off of the Sherman, but for obvious reasons that would probably break over time. So they're trying to make it easy for new gamers to get involved without having to worry about small things like that breaking. Great kits, very well assembled, nice coat of spray, nice and clean. Could take paint very easily if you wanted to paint these up. Of a special note, the way that they are packed in the storage tray, I would push your finger up from underneath the tank so as you don't try to grab the tank by the turret and either break the turret or the machine guns that are in the hull. Let's go right ahead and take a look at the other contents. You get four tank cards that come in the starter set. A nice glossy card, full color, wonderful layout and pictures. Very professionally done. You also get six customized laser engraved dice to use for your offensive and defensive capabilities of your vehicles. Take a look at some of the other cards. There are two sets of mini cards that come in the game. One with a card labeled open this pack first, which I probably should have read because I didn't do that. But for you people out there that are checking out this review prior to buying your game, open that pack first. These are all your, your modules, your consumables, your equipment, um, upgrades, things of that nature. Uh, there are some nation specific uh, cards that can only be used with those specific nations. Uh, there's also some multinational one, multinational ones and some generic ones as well. Obviously, I wanted to show the pudding in tea consumable upgrade because uh, obviously there's uh, a slight bit of humor uh, placed in this game as well, which is, is always a nice touch. On the back of these cards, they are numbered, which also will have an in-game effect. And you can see there are different effects on the backs of the cards as well. And we'll learn more about that when we get into the rules. Let's go ahead and take a look at the last deck of cards. The last deck of cards that you get are your in-game cards, giving you damage and things that can happen to your vehicles throughout the game. Some of the effects uh, might not do any damage, uh, just has an effect on how the tank functions. Um, also, some, some effects are repairable. And again, we'll learn more about this as we read through the rules and get our first game in. One of the last things I wanted to do to show players out there 
how usable the tanks are in this game and how you can use your Flames of War tanks to also play World of Tanks is here's an example of the new plastic T-3485 next to the T-34 that comes in the World of Tanks game. Exactly the same kit, great layout, very transferable back and forth. So for all you Flames of War players out there, go right ahead, pick up your World of Tanks and start introducing people to the wonderful world of the miniature wargaming hobby. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and review of the game. Be on the lookout for a future video on how to play World of Tanks. Like, subscribe, ring that bell, and don't forget to keep a watchful eye on the hobby. Thanks for watching. Take care.